So Aquarius is the water bearer and the image we have of that constellation is of the a human pouring a, a container of water through the air and this is where we see that it's the action of the water moving through the air that is part of the reason of Aquarius. Uh, that aligns with the idea of its symbol as well. <clears throat> because air has the, some of the same qualities as water. It has distinct flows and movements. It, it, it is almost like water and windy air move in waves. They are circulating and swirling. And, uh, and, 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 and that makes you think of some of those ancient uh, images of like the, uh, the, the, the little characters who, who, who are blowing the wind and you see it moving out as streams that circle around. The idea of how wind is imaged and, and pictured and imagined to be is, is, is not too dissimilar to the flow of a water, water making swirls and, and spirals and, 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 and little eddies and movements in as it, as it, as it progresses. Wind is, it, it can be imagined to be the same and it does make similar things. Like when you look at clouds, you can see sometimes the, that movement of moisture gathering in air. Again, this is actually the idea of water being suspended in air. And, 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 and they have those kind of rounded shapes that could be seen as being circulating or swirling or the movement. Um, yeah, and this is, this is how um, air carries things. So air being a carrier of something like this, the movement of air. So, so, and that, of course, brings us to this idea of what is this all-encompassing space that we are in? Because how do we use it? You know, it, uh, we, 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 you know, we see it in a huge space, but, you know, it's where the insects are flying. It's where the birds are flying. It, from man-made things, it's where planes are flying. It's this idea that it is a lot of movement going on up in that space. Um, it's also where dust is suspended. It's where, it's where um, seeds are floating. It's where spores and fungi and all these things. There's a, lot, there's a lot of life suspended in that air as it moves around the planet and around us. So when we think more about air, we also think about this idea of how it is, uh, it influences the weather we go outside we feel the temperature in the air we feel the breeze we feel the the moisture in the air the barometers of life and it's that ever-changing weather that affects our disposition and our moods and therefore we have to uh, understand how to use the air so, for example, uh, in sports, uh, running and exercise, and um, people will have breathing techniques. They will have methods of bringing that air to them to generate that force, that power that they need. But also in yoga, uh, there is the pranayama, which is the movement and exercise of air in order to energize. Um, and then in pure meditation, it's about the movement of air and the feeling of the sensation as it moves up in through the nostrils. Sensations moving therefore into the lungs, moving down to the navel and back out again. This is a whole process. So, so this is all air. And these are some of the things we can be starting to think about with this Jupiter-Saturn conjunction in Aquarius. Long ago we saw it the space around us the, as the abode of the gods. People would supplement to the gods. They would reach up to the sky. they look up to the sky and say, ah, you know, raise the hands up into the air. The gods and the goddesses of the, of the, of, are in that Atmos 
sphere, which is the Greek, atmos is the vapour, sphere is the ball. The idea we are in the atmosphere. And, 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 and in Athens they had the Tower of the Winds, which is like the, the, they built this tower which showed the direction of wind, and that was the direction of movement of things. It was almost as if they had a, an awareness of how the mood or the things would of the people might be affected by the wind, speed of the wind, temperature of the wind. And in the world around us, we have so much to do with the winds. For example, it's the names of winds. There are many, many different names for different types of winds that happen at different times of year and in different places. So, you know, I mean, the shipping, uh, ancient shipping trade winds you know um in deserts you know desert winds i mean all these different things are, are so important the understanding of the movement of air so so when we have this jupiter saturn conjunction in aquarius we're looking at this idea of where are we going this uplift this new consciousness of air we're going to be lifting up into it this is all the new beginnings that we're going to have it's very exciting so let's look a bit more now at the idea of Jupiter and Saturn and what they're doing in Aquarius. <clears throat> and Aquarius is, as I said, this 11th sign of the zodiac. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's still a winter sign. It's, the, it's a fixed sign in the middle of winter. Um, and, uh, and, and it is part of its more positive expressions is about truth seeking intellectualism and scientific concept it is the idea that Aquarius because everyone would be still in their houses in winter so there'll be a lot of talking you know when when societies or groups or communities would be brought together in winter there wasn't much going outside the ground was still quite cold and frozen the wind would be picking up it was usually very cold in uh, from Jan uh, late January to February <clears throat> people would gather and they would talk a lot and so therefore that is the idea of Aquarius being the the, the communicator it's it's about being friendly it's about being humane and kind and uh, people oriented um, it's 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 about being very open-minded um, unprejudiced it's about being tolerant so these are very important Aquarian uh, indicators of how we can expect to see this next 20 year cycle. And it all comes at a perfect time because we so need this right now, you know, collectively. So there's a lot about being individualistic and unconventional. So think freely, think differently. These are good things to happen. Um, it's about being innovative and inventive. You know, we're going to have these fantastic, original, unique, unusual things that are going to be happening in the world. It's really amazing. And it's going to be about being determined and resolute because it's a fixed sign. It doesn't change. So when you get a good idea, you can work with your idea. And also it's about independence and freedom loving. And that's why right now with this current set of current affairs the current news people are going well what are we going to do you know it's a challenge to in fact be freedom loving so jupiter and saturn together now at zero degrees aquarius you know when jupiter saturn meet every 20 years they provide a new or a, a new a, a, essentially a reworked or a reset for a framework for society that's what jupiter and saturn do together so they build on a social economic structure. The idea that a civilization can be ordered and shaped. The ancients didn't know what was past Saturn. So Jupiter and Saturn were the boundaries and they are the conscious things that we can work with in life. <clears throat> so it's about having those and, and, and working with them. Um, and therefore when Jupiter represents growth and expansion, Saturn is limits and limitations and contractual control. They, you bring them together and you, you start to have rules and limits to things. What's possible? You know, moral boundaries, shall we call them. 
and uh, and and so this time with Aquarius we're looking at this idea of humanitarianism progressive scientific you know insightful uh, Aquarius is very spiritual um, because of this idea of air um, and, and 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 at the same time it's scientific so we're hopefully we're going to get a merging of the science and religion it's time 20 year cycle starting now very exciting times and uh, and you know when Jupiter does things in abundance and excess Saturn weighs things and measures things and structures things and is the heaviness the solidity the gravity of something so Jupiter wants to think broad-mindedly wide scopes large horizons Saturn wants to focus in be quite oppressive and build a wall or a border to something so it's about you know the combinations of these two things you know in 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 the news right now where is brexit taking us you know now the questions are going to be different the the insights are going to be different jupiter and saturn have just changed sign something new is on its way so there may be a lot of joy with jupiter and aquarius it's an uplifting more uplifting you know but Saturn would be more of a, a, a distance to it, the, the idea of social distancing was when Saturn moved into Aquarius last time. But, uh, but we'll see what happens with that. And it's about the idea of, you know, movement of things again with Jupiter, you know, how can we travel? How can we move? How can we culturally mingle? Saturn says, oh, stick to one thing. You know so we must be careful not to become too impersonal or too detached because you know or too abstract or too too logical you know there's going to be a sense of uh, a possible intolerance you know it can can occur but I, I feel that we've got a very a, a good a sense of revolution of ideas and uh, and we must stay optimistic Jupiter is very optimistic Let's stay optimistic with this and see where we go with it. You know, this year we're going to have the Saturn square Uranus. It's it's actually starting its orb now, so this is a, another very very interesting thing. So um, I wish you all well in your discoveries of how Jupiter and Saturn uh, will happen for you in Aquarius. Uh, do ask me for readings. I'm available for readings. Um, and uh, and do subscribe please uh, to uh, by clicking the button uh, below the screen here uh, welcome to leave a comment I will try to reply to them in person and um, find me as Jupiter uh, <laughs> Jupiter <laughs> find me as Julian the London astrologer um, and my website is londonastrologer.com um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been a pleasure talking to you today and uh, and do tune in for more I will be back soon. Uh, wishing you all well. Thank you and goodbye for now. <clears throat>